option to open fire. Granted. The Born Identity movie was released in theaters, starting the franchise from the Robert London book series that was also well regarded on the topic of espionage. Matt Damon starred as Jason Bourne, a spy and top assassin who lost his memory during one of his latest missions gone wrong, trying to piece together his past after being shot down, Treadstone, the agency of assassins he worked for in the US, is now hunting him down to try to make sure that their assassins network and connections are not discovered as well. This spy thriller was a great addition to movies back then, worked well in tandem main characters as spies like James Bond and Ethan Hawke. So in 2008, after the Bourne trilogy was finished, publisher Sierra and developer High Moon Studios created The Bourne Conspiracy, a game modeled after the story of the first movie, but with some liberties in adding missions from Bourne's past. Now. This Bourne may not have the likeness of Matt Damon due to copyright reasons, but the combat, action, story are all here to remind you of what it is and whom it's for. A love letter to all Jason Bourne fans. Now, let's scope out the intense combat and action mechanics in this week's Game Factor. It's game time.
Here are some positives about the Born Conspiracy. Combat is very intense and varies for a two button set. From light to hard punches, for stringing combos, to pressing X and Y to commit to a strong kick. Fighting in the game shows that punching is indeed faster, but kicking is strong, but can be punished if not time right. This brings some strategy into the game. Next up, we have takedowns. Takedowns are combat execution that either knock out or cause major damage towards your opponent. While fighting in melee combat, you can use the environment around you, making your takedowns look and feel real and vicious. Also, you can use takedowns in firefights. After shooting enemies with headshots and skill shots, you can earn takedown points to be executed at a distance. And there are three levels of the takedown game. And if you have all three, you can kill three enemies at once, in melees and in shootouts. I only wish they showed the actual skill shots being earned on your HUD. There should be a prompt that sparks up that indicates that, while being rewarded. Another cool experience about the Born Conspiracy are the boss fights. Now, the boss fights are much more intense than the grunt and small hand-to-hand -hand combat against like the janitors and the small grunts. No, this takes strategy. This takes a little bit of committing and mixing up variable uh, fists, stringing up combos, using the environment against them, and spacing. That's another thing I want to talk about. In the combat, spacing is the best thing you can do to commit to strong attacks. Now, stringing up combos will do good in gaining up takedowns, but when you need that space, for defense, instead of blocking all the time, you can space and zone out your enemy to commit to strong kicks. And that leads to a whole other strategy of surviving. Because bosses will sometimes pull out knives and other objects to cause more damage. And they also can do takedowns of their own, which is pretty fucking sweet. And you can counter them by a quick time event. And there's a game mode also that signifies and singles out these boss fights so you don't have to go through the whole mission, you can go straight to the big boys. And that's what's cool about it. Now there's one big negative flaw about the Born Conspiracy, and that is the shooting. The overall firefights, the shooting mechanics, everything. It is poorly done and poorly designed. And it doesn't even feel powerful to shoot uh, automatic weapons. Enemies take way too long to kill, and headshots is a one in a million chance. Literally. Ugh. Goodness, I could rant on more and more about shooting, but let's get down to the bare bones, okay? Now, when you pull out your gun with the left bumper, or with L1, you pull out your weapon and you're always in the fine aim zoom position, which means you don't have the depth perception or the camera view to see a wide area or a wide speck of the situation. So that means your firefights might be in the fine zoom position the whole time and you might not even see enemies without relying on the takedown and the born instinct that shows and targets enemies on your minimap. Now this is a problem, especially when there's too many enemies on one on screen and especially on a higher difficulty this can cause cheap and quick deaths and that can overall knock down the enjoyment of this game but with the takedowns in place and some powerful weapons that you can pick up you can only have one big weapon and then a pistol on the side which is another fault in this thing overall shooting needs work and I wish they made a sequel to be able to fix that mechanic <laughs> Okay, how about some pro tips to help you out in the Born Conspiracy? Number one, spacing in a hand-to-hand -hand combat. When you space, you give yourself time to move, strategize, and scan the environment that you're fighting in. Use this to also commit to strong attacks. Then you won't be punished because you have enough room to do it. Next up, number two, environmental kills. Use the environment to get rid of weapons or nightsticks and to cause major damage towards your opponent. With this, you'll get a gratifying and vicious takedown. It will look pretty awesome. Three, driving using instinct. Now, Born has instinct by pressing the Y button mentioned earlier in the game factor. When you press Y, you slow down time to be able to move, dodge, and avoid incoming traffic. And also, police cars that are trying to box you in to arrest you. Lastly, use cars to destroy multiple enemies at once. When you're in firefights, 
Some cinematics and situations will place you in a parking lot or in the streets where cars are available for cover. Aim for those cars and take multiple shots at them and make those cars explode. But remember, the opponents can do the same thing. And some might have rocket launchers to make them explode early. So make sure you move from cover to cover and don't stand at a standstill until one of those cars are completely destroyed. Then you can use it as a permanent use for cover. <laughs> So in conclusion, does the Bourne Conspiracy live up to the movies? Well, yes, it really does, and may be one of the greatest movie games ever, with a combat engine and takedown environments leading the front. This single player experience is a great time, and brings back old memories of the movie we fell in love with. So for gameplay, I'm rewarding Bourne with a solid B. Like I said before, combat and takedown gameplay takes it to a sky-high level, but the overall shooting mechanics bring it down from being great. Replay value is fairly low. All you have is single player and reliving boss fights. That doesn't mean it's bad, I'm just telling you how much is after the fact when you beat the game. So it's rated around the low fact. And for the consumer report, you can buy The Born Conspiracy at a low price, or you can rent it just in case you don't like it. And I'll be giving The Born Conspiracy a hidden gem badge, because this game is so underrated and a lot more people should take a look at it and experience the combat and take down for themselves. What an awesome game. Hey guys, thanks for watching the Rundown Review. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Don't worry, more reviews and content are coming up soon. Here are the current consoles I can review at the moment. Comment below for a pick at the next review game. And again, thanks for watching. Cafe LA, baby. Peace and love. I'm out.